Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. We're going to be doing a couple of diamonds on our nails and then we're going to be filling them in with the little nail art decorations you see there. But if you don't have the decorations, then we'll be able to replace them with uh, just your regular nail art polish. Let's get started. The first thing we will begin by doing is I'm going to get a blue nail polish. I'm using this one by Milani and it's called Blue for My Baby. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to get my glopping piece of paper and I'm going to be placing some of the blue polish on my piece of paper. I'm going to get a dotting tool. You can also use a brush or a sharpened pencil. And I'm going to use this uh, small tip to create three letter V's going sideways on my nail. So I'm going to dip in my blue and I'm going to start in this corner and I'm just doing the letter V, just a letter V. Then I'm going to connect and I'm going to do another letter V. I'm going to connect and I'm doing another letter V. So all I've done there is sort of like zigzags or the letters V. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blue polish and I'm going to be filling in that entire tip the entire thing on the little zigzaggies. So I'm going to fill in my brush again and all I'm doing is that. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because we're going to be adding a little bit more to it. So the next thing to do is to allow this to completely dry and then we're going to go in and you're going to need a nail art polish so we could start drawing our guidelines. Now we're ready to begin drawing our guidelines. I'm going to be using a black nail art polish for this step. I'm going to thin out my brush as thin as I can get it because I don't want my stripes to be so thick. So what I'm going to do here is in between every V that I drew, I'm going to go sideways. I'm going to draw a sideways stripe. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to bring it out to the side. I'm going to move to the next one and I'm going to bring it out to the side and towards the last one I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to touch and bring it out towards the side. So all I've done there is three stripes going sideways on each of the little V's that we drew. The next thing to do is I'm going to thin out my brush again and on each of the little V's, again, I'm going to touch and bring it straight up. I'm going to touch and bring it straight up. So all I've done is two lines going up and down on each of the little, uh, the little V's. So everything's connected to the little V's we drew originally. So that's the guidelines we're going to need so we can go in and fill in with the color you're going to choose. The color I chose is this one by Nabi, and this one's called Tawny. I'll, I'll write the names down in the description section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my globbing piece of paper again. I'm going to place some of my Tawny color, and I'm going to get my dotting tool, which I can't find. So I'll be right back. Okay, I found my dotting tool. It was hiding under the towel. So I'm going to be using for this the same exact one that I used to create my letters V. So what I'm going to do is you have to decide which of the diamonds you're going to want to um, paint what color. So on, in this case, because I'm alternating the colors, for example, on this one I did the middle diamonds, uh, the burgundy color. On this one I did the bottom one, so I alternated on each one of them. So if this one I did the top one's burgundy and the bottom one's blue, then I'm going to be doing the bottom one's burgundy and the top ones can stay blue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip in my tawny color and I'm going to start just very carefully filling it in. And it, well you don't have to be so careful because um, you're going to be covering up the stripes anyways. But um, all I'm going to do is that. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to fill them in. And if you're really good with the brush, you can do it. You can actually fill them in with the brush. I can't fill it in with the brush because of my shaky hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glop a little bit more. 
and I'm going to be filling in every single one of these little sections, the, all three of the bottom ones. And apart from the three bottom ones that I'm going to be filling in, I'm also going to be filling in this top one right here. So let me fill that one in very carefully. If you have a really steady hand, this is really easy for you to do. I don't have such a steady hand, so it's a little bit difficult for me to do. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to fill in this corner one as well. And what I'm going to be using after this is going to be their little um, nail art decorations. And um, I'm going to use them to outline the black lined areas. But if you don't want to use the little golden decorations, then you're pretty much done there. And all you can do is maybe um, outline with your nail art polish the bottom V so they could be straight, nice and neat. And maybe you can bring it out with some dots. The way I use those, the, the little dots to, to bring out the design. And you could be done there. But I'm going to be using this sort of um, nail art decoration. And I'm going to be placing it over the entire little diamond section. So once this completely dries, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start adding the little goldies you see there. Now we're ready to begin adding the little golden nail decorations you see there. You can also find these in your local craft store. Just get the tiniest little dots you find. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some clear nail polish and I'm going to just glide it over my stripes. I'm going to get my dotting tool. I'm going to dip it in just to wet the tip enough and I'm going to pick them. And I'm just going to start placing them over the entire striped area. And what I did discover when doing this design is try to do them or place the little uh, golden nail art decorations as close as they can possibly be. That way you don't leave spaces in between and you don't have to go back in filling them in and wasting more of your nail art decorations that you could be using for another nail art design. So just try to place them as close as you can to one another and um, that'll give you that sort of um, that sort of look. So you could get the little stripies everywhere. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill in absolutely all the black stripes but like I said if you don't want to use these and you per you can also use like a gold nail art polish or just the color of your choice the colors you have chosen and I'm just gonna fill them all in completely all the way to the top all of them and I think I need a little more clear polish so it's I just want to show you that it just consists of placing clear polish dipping in your tool picking the little um, nail art decorations and placing them. And the way I've placed them, I've placed them flat on my paper. That way they're easier to pick one by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill in all the black uh, stripes I made. And I'll be back and I'll show you how I brought the little tips out. I'm done adding all the little nail decorations or the little round little gold decorations on the zigzags of my nail or on the little diamonds and you can leave it like that. What I did here is I added a little sideway tips to all of my nails but you can also leave it like that. But the way I did that is after I've applied all the little uh, nail decorations on the stripes I place a little bit of polish on the last two and this one pretty much can stay the way it is but I'm gonna dip my dotting tool I'm gonna place it there the little gold ones going a little bit sideways and all I'm doing is all I'm adding is two of them on the bottom one I'm gonna do the same exact thing I'm gonna place one there and then going sideways up a little bit I'm gonna place the other one there and that's how I got this um, design done it's not difficult to do it's really fun and if you don't have the nail decorations or you want to get them you can find them in your craft store or a nail uh, your local beauty supply store and they're really fun to work with you can do a lot of things with it I hope you guys like this design and try it out using your favorite colors be safe and I'll see you guys next time bye